politics bore me. Let's not bring it up at all. Good morning. Welcome to a special Tuesday morning edition of the usual Monday morning cup of coffee. We'll get on to the news in a few minutes, but first, let's have a sip of Joe together. In 1955, there lived in Memphis, Tennessee, a 15-year-old girl with jet black hair named Lou, short for Louise. Now, Lou didn't follow music. Remember that. That's important. One night, she was parked outside the local malt shop with her best girlfriend, eating their burgers and drinking their milkshakes, and Lou was in the passenger seat with her window down, and the parking space next to her was empty, until this pink Cadillac barreled into the spot and screeched to a halt, and the driver was a pimply, greasy type. His window was down, too, and he took one look at Lou with her jet black hair, and he said, Hey, Blackie, I got what you need. And Lou gave him the finger. He threw his Cadillac in reverse, roared out of the parking lot, and out of their lives. And Lou's girlfriend was appalled. She was scandalized. She was apoplectic that Lou had just given the finger to Elvis Presley. That's a true story. Five years later, in 1960, in Memphis, Tennessee, my oldest brother, Wayman, who was already 21 and out of the house before I was even born, had a summer job between college semesters loading and unloading barges on the Mississippi River. And one day, he and his best buddy had the same day off, and they were wondering what to do with themselves. And they knew that sometimes Elvis would come down to the front gate at Graceland and he would sign autographs and pose for pictures. So that's where my brother Wayman and his friend went. When they got to Graceland, the front gate was closed and locked and there was nobody there. But they heard commotion coming from what sounded like the back of the house. So they walked all the way around a tall wooden perimeter fence until they got to where the noise was the loudest and they stood on their tiptoes and peeked over the top of that wooden fence and saw Elvis playing touch football with his buddies. Now in what was not the coolest move of my eldest brother's life, nor his friends, they hauled themselves over the fence and infiltrated the game and were allowed to play. My oldest brother, Wayman, played touch football with Elvis Presley in 1960. That's a true story. 18 years later, in the chapel on the Air Force Base at K.I. Sawyer, Michigan, Lou became Wayman's third wife, and this is their song. I wish I'd known you better born too soon I was wearing diapers when you were on your honeymoon you went off in the Air Force came home when you could I wish I'd known you better but what I knew was good Played football with Elvis, took Susie for your wife, got stationed up in Billings and led a military life. You smoked more camel cigarettes than anybody should. I wish I'd known you better. What I knew was good Then there came Juanita She wasn't good for you And then you got it right When you hooked up with Lou She went six months before you We all knew soon you would 
wish I had known it better But what I knew was good There comes a time to say goodbye And send you on your way Turn your body into ashes And get on with our day To have one conversation now I sorely wish we could I wish I'd known you better what I knew was good What I knew was good What I knew was good Good morning again! Those two tracks, The Story of Wayman and Lou and I Wish I'd Known You Better are the closing elements of my brand new LP, I Thought I Was Fine. Thanks very much to all of you who've already chipped in on our Indiegogo campaign. And if you would please share the campaign info with all your friends and all your enemies too. The campaign has two weeks left and we're getting closer and closer to our goal of 15 large. We're at 83% of that goal of 15,000 simoleons. So please help out by spreading the word. And remember, when the campaign ends, so goes your opportunity to get a copy of my two-disc anthology, 30 Years Shot to Hell. So don't miss out. And also, don't forget that one of the Indiegogo perks is me writing and recording your own personal song. A song written and recorded by me containing the subject matter and details and plot lines you send to me and I write what will be forever a Tommy Womack tune just for you and no one else. I've done it before in campaigns many times and they're actually damn good songs, you know. I don't jack off these songs in 20 minutes. I write you a seriously well thought out song so go to the Indiegogo link and sign up for your own personal Tommy Womack song. Backtracking a little bit, had a great weekend of shows, including a real whiz-bang record release gig at D's Friday night, and then Saturday at the Jayhawk Music Fest in Chickamauga, Georgia. And this coming Friday the 15th, I'll be at the Grove in Glasgow, Kentucky, where I hope to see a lot of my relatives come out and enjoy the fun. And that's the Tuesday morning cup of coffee for October 19th, 2021. Let's have another sip and don't let the bastards get you down. I'll see you next Monday. I promise. Up in the morning.